In a recent interview with form expert Mark Westgard, he told us that his two favorite ways for preventing spam from going through your contact forms is setting your website up on Cloudflare and using Cloudflare's turnstile CAPTCHA. Now I just did a video on how to get your website set up on Cloudflare. If you didn't catch that, there should be a card popping up now. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you just how simple it is to set up turnstile and get it working on your forms immediately. If that sounds of interest to you, then stick around and let's get started. So back here inside my Cloudflare account, I'm here on the dashboard and over on the left hand side, I'm going to click on turnstile. Now inside this account, I don't have any turnstile set up and you will have to set up an individual turnstile for each domain. So let's go ahead and click add site here. And for the site name, I'll call it the admin.bar since that's the site we have set up. This is just a friendly name for you to be able to recognize which account it is. Here from the domain dropdown, you will select the domain from your account. You do have to have your domain on Cloudflare for this to work, and you're gonna have to pull this from the list of domains that are already registered here. Now here we have the widget mode. Both manage and non-interactive are gonna show a visual captcha on the front end of your website, while the invisible version will not show up at all. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on manage so we can actually see this in action, but in production, most of the time, I'm just gonna use the invisible version. We'll go ahead and scroll down and click create. And now we have our site key and our secret key, which is gonna be important for connecting this to our website. Speaking of which, I'll jump back over to our website and I'm gonna be showing you how to set this up initially in WS Form since that's the form plugin I use. Here under WS Form, I'm gonna click on settings. Next, we need to go to the spam protection tab. And if we scroll down here, we have the site key and secret key for turnstile. You can see I already had something in there from previously testing this, so we'll go ahead and wipe those out so we can start fresh. So I'll go back here over to my Cloudflare account. I'll grab the site key and copy it. Back here in the website, we'll paste that in. Next, we'll grab our secret key, paste that in, and hit save changes. Now let's go ahead and set up a new form and include turnstile on it. So here in WS form, I'm gonna click add new and I'm just gonna grab this generic contact us template. Here over on the right hand side, I'm gonna search for turnstile and we'll drop this into our form. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this just above our submit button and we should be able to hit save changes. We'll go ahead and publish this form, hit preview and we can see our Cloudflare turnstile is already working perfectly. This went ahead and just analyzed our behavior on the site and recognized that we are human. So just like that, we have turnstile set up for this entire domain. Anytime we wanna add a new form and use turnstile, we just drag that turnstile widget in there and everything's already connected. Now, if we go back in here into our account, back to our turnstiles and hit settings, we could change this to the invisible version and hit update. And now if we go here into our preview and refresh it, we shouldn't even see that turnstile showing up. This is all actually happening in the background, which is what I prefer since that reduces user friction. Now, if you're not using WS form, you can still set this up really simple. We'll go back here to plugins, add new, and we'll search for turnstile. Here, the simple Cloudflare turnstile plugin, we'll go ahead and hit install now, and we'll activate it. This plugin, we'll have to go through the same process of entering our site key and secret key. But once we do that, we can set some general settings here and we can enable the turnstile on different forms that are already on our website. So things like the WordPress login, registration page, password reset, or even WordPress comments. So this plugin is really handy in being able to incorporate the turnstile into all these different parts of our website. Now you can see here, they do have integrations for just about every form plugin on the market. So you can either go through the documentation of your form plugin to connect Turnstile, or you could use this plugin because it makes it really easy to do. Now I spent over an hour talking with Mark about all the different ways you can prevent spam on your forms. But when it came down to it, the two biggest recommendations he had were Cloudflare and Cloudflare Turnstile. Both of these things are really easy to set up as you can see inside this video, and both of them are totally free. So going forward, I'm gonna make sure to put all my websites through Cloudflare and use Turnstile on all my forms, and I think that's gonna knock out most of the spam problems I have. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you wanna make sure to catch the next one, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next week.